Hey guys, Lego Freak here, and welcome to another custom Lego minifigure tutorial. It's been forever, so it seems. Um, so yeah, a few things I just want to clear up. First of all, um, I'll be back to uploading videos for a while. I'm going to take a break from live streams just because they seem to be getting a little bit more boring for you guys to watch um, and, you know, a little bit less fun to do just because there's a, uh, a lack of questions. So it's very hard for me to be entertaining on a live stream if you guys don't have any questions for me. So, yeah. Um, but if you guys think of anything fun you want me to do in a live stream, like some weird, eat some weird food or something, I'd be all for that. Just to just to kind of make live streams more fun for you guys to watch. Because, um, again, just by myself, I'm not that entertaining of a person. Um, so, yeah, I kind of need you guys' questions. And then the last one, there wasn't a ton of questions. So it was mainly me just sitting there staring at the chat waiting for someone to say something so I could talk. Um, so, yeah. But anyways, um, so yeah, more videos coming out, uh, which is great. Um, I'm also going to try and start posting more on my Instagram because I haven't been doing that very much recently. So for all of you who like uh, people posting on Instagram, or me posting on Instagram, yay! I'm going to try doing that more, showing... Um, now here's my question to you guys, uh, if you even um, if you even care. Uh, do you want to see works in progress, like before they're finished? Because for me personally, I don't, I don't know, I don't always like showing figures before they're done i feel like it kind of ruins like the overall picture but if you guys want to see works in progress please let me know um because i'd be happy to post those on my instagram um so you know figures before they're finished like for instance my justice league would you guys like to see early pictures of that if so please let me know in the comments be much appreciated anyways uh without further ado let's get into it Woo! Alright guys, and the minifigure for today is the Reverse Flash. Now, uh, this character was pretty simplistic, um, but uh, my yellow paint is terrible, so that gave it a, a new level of difficulty because it's very clumpy in places and really hard to use evenly, um, like apply evenly, so. But, um, yeah, anyways, let's go ahead and get into the tools that I used. Alright guys, and the tools I used for this particular minifigure include yellow paint, Red paint, black paint, silver paint, a paintbrush, and of course a thumbtack for details. I also did use this Xbox card, um, and you'll you'll see what this is for in a sec. I also did use some sculpting material. Now that's very optional for this figure. Um, it was just a few extra things that I wanted to add. So you don't have to use sculpting stuff, but uh, if you have some, then uh, you can use that. So, anyways, let's go ahead and get into the pieces that I used. Alright guys, and the pieces I used for this particular minifigure, uh, the cowl was just a standard flash cowl or helmet from the um, flash sets, so yeah. Um, the face was an Iron Man face, just a standard Iron Man face. The torso and arms were just plain yellow, and I got two black hands and black legs. So um, yeah, let's go ahead and get into the actual painting tutorial. Alright guys, so starting with the actual cowl itself, uh, pretty much first thing that I did, um, and it is just a normal flash cowl, I took it, painted it completely yellow, um, which again was kind of hard because of the paint, because especially like right there, you can see that big old like lump right there, which is pretty nasty, but um, yeah, so that was step one was to paint it all yellow, then um, took some black and did the uh, lightning bolt thing here, or the little lines here, just to line up and a little line down and then a line that goes all the way to the back uh same on this side of course now for the lightning bolts here now this is um i explained in my uh cw speedster showcase this is the one i actually sculpted but for the all the other lightning bolts um i took um that xbox card and i cut it into this uh lightning bolt shape and just glued it onto the side and then painted it a little um red circle around it so yeah that one is sculpted but I mean, this was way easier and uh, way more effective. So um, yeah. So for the uh, for the face, pretty much, uh, I took a Iron Man head. This was like the the angry side. If you look on this side, you can see the Tony Stark eyes and the. You can even see like the the beard under there. Um, See, so yeah, I took that and erased everything under the eyes except for like the chin bone things. Um, and then just painted the, uh, mouth. And the reason I use this face is I basically just went through my, like, faces and 
just put this cowl on each one until I found one where the eyes lined up and looked good. Um, and then I just went with that one. So yeah, so the mouth is painted, of course, um, I just painted a little line there. Uh, and then I did paint the, uh, the eyes red right there, um, as you can see. And then I also did um, paint the uh, like chin thing here. Um, and it did go all the way around. So basically what I did was I just started uh, right below the mouth with yellow and did a curved line up until it touched the chin bone. And then it just went all the way around the back to the um, other chin bone and then went down and connected it again. And then I just outlined that in black and then filled it all in with yellow. So um, yeah, you wanna make sure of course that when you turn the figure around, the yellow uh, goes all the way up behind the cowl. Otherwise it's gonna look kind of strange. So yeah, moving on to the torso, pretty much um, the first thing that I did was I painted a black line going straight down the middle, uh, which is pretty simplistic. And then I just kind of painted two lines coming off. So just basically like a cross shape. Um, and then I did curve them up at the very end. So, um, and then I just painted a curved line going down um, or up from here and then connected it to the line in the middle with another straight line. So then from there, I kind of painted this curved line. It's just a very, very subtle curve. It just curves this way and then that way. Um, and then same on this side. Then um, I went over to the sides and painted these little black parts. So it's just um, a, a slanted line this way and then a little dip going this way and then another slanted line down. And I just filled that in with black. Same on this side. This side looks better. Um, then in the middle here, um, I just painted these um, rectangles here, um, getting smaller as they go down, and there's four of them on each side. So, yeah, pretty pretty straightforward there. I did paint some black down here because his suit kind of like fades from yellow to black. It's kind of hard to get that look, and it's not the best, but it's all right. Then uh, I painted the um, symbol right here, just a black circle. I outlined that in red and painted the lightning bolt through it. Now my lighting, it doesn't let you see that very well, um, the lightning bolt anyway, um, but it is there. Uh, now, one of the <clears throat> advantages of having the clumpy paint was, you can see on the chest here, these little like squiggly lines. Um, basically, I just took a big chunk of that yellow paint and then just did these lines here. Um, and sure enough, like how with how clumpy it was, they actually like stand out quite a bit, which I really like. Because on the suit, he does have these these visible uh, like squiggly lines next to his symbol. So I really do like that. There's three on each side, which you can see pretty well there, um, especially with light there. Um, so yeah, I like that a lot. Um, anyways, moving on to the arms. Pretty much, it was just uh, a matter of painting a black line. Um, curving down to here and then curving all the way back up to here. Then uh, I just took some silver and did the little bolts going up or not bolts or whatever they are going up that. And then um, this shape was very similar to the one on the side here. It's just a slanted line going up and around to the back. And then a little like uh, another little straight line here, like a little dip and then uh, go straight down. And then I filled all that in with black and also outlined it in these silver dots. So yeah, and of course, same could be said for this arm over here. So moving on to the back, very, very simplistic on the back, just uh, two V shapes at the top and then just two M shapes right here. Um, not much to be said about that. And now for the legs, oh, he kind of got out of uh, out of view there. Um, for the legs, pretty much what I did was I took some red and painted the lightning bolt shapes here and here. Now, uh, it's hard to see, but I did actually sculpt the um, the belt piece here. Let me see if I move my, yeah, you can see it there. Um, so it sticks off a bit. Now, obviously you really don't have to do that. You could just like paint it on, but I decided to sculpt it because I did it for like the rest of the speedsters, so I wanted him to match. Oh, and also I didn't know, um, mention this, but I did sculpt the glove pieces, the little, like, so there's no gap between his arm and his wrist, um, just pointing that out. So yeah, um, but yeah, sculpted that, painted it black, uh, I mean, obviously you don't have to sculpt it, that was just an extra touch. Um, and then I painted the red little parts on his boots here, just really, really simple there. Um, it's just painting the sides of his legs red. Then for the, like the, the pants, I kind of took yellow and put it on my finger and rubbed it 
on there so that it has that kind of yellow look because if you look at uh his like pants and reference photos they are they have this like yellow kind of smudges or something like that and so i did that on the sides on the front and um on the back well nope i didn't do it on the back all right uh so yeah i was just to add a bit more detail to his legs um so yeah, overall, um, I do like this figure, and uh, I like the way that it turned out overall, especially the face. Very proud of how the face looks in there. Um, so uh, yeah, anyways, let's go ahead and wrap up this video. All right, guys, that wraps up this video. Hope you guys liked it. If you did, make sure to leave a like, as well as subscribe. Man, I'm sweating. It is hot as heck. All right, let's do some shout outs before I die of heat exhaustion, shall we? First shout out goes to all right, Psh. Rye, Re, and Hari, Harry, Harai, something like that. Psh. Next one goes to. Hold up a second. Come on. Psh. YouTube pals. Yeah. So there you go. Psh. And the last one for today, because it's the last one I can find, goes to. Psh. DF stop motion films. So there you go. Whoosh. Anyways, that about does it for shout outs and the video. Um, so yeah, I'll probably finish up the uh, Speedsters tutorials because I know a lot of you guys want to see those. And yes, Savitar is in the works. So somewhat. Um, I'm still trying to figure out how I'm going to do that. It's going to be a lot of sculpting, a lot of work, a lot of time. But he is, I, I do have, I, I have planned to make him. So I have heard your comments. I mean, heck, ever since I saw the references, I'm like, I'm going to make this guy. It's just, it's, it's going to take some time. So anyways, this has been Lego Freak. Peace.